Hey, it's Don Michelle. I never know where to share anything anymore because I have two different channels and I do journaling around a lot of different things. But since this journal is specifically geared toward gaming, I thought I would share it here on this channel. So this is my new gaming journal. Now, if you've been around on this channel, you know that like, well, if you've been around here for a while, like I used to do journaling stuff on this channel all the time. And then I kind of switched gears and I've started doing more video game stuff over here. I do have plans for other game related things, not just Baldur's Gate 3, but there's only so much time in the day. So that's where we're at right now. I do have plans for cozy gaming and things like that. And some things like this that are related to gaming, but not necessarily watching a playthrough. So today I thought I'd share my gaming journal because it's primarily Baldur's Gate 3 right now, but I do have space in here for other things as I get into other games. So this is just Astology and it's in a Lauren Phelps cover. For those of you who know about journaling stuff, I'll leave links for the things that I have in here below for you. I just have created this as a kind of bullet journal style gaming journal so that I can keep track of what it is that I'm doing in all of these games that I'm playing. I have some printouts here of, well, a Starion in the middle, of course, because like he's in everything, right? And this is my character that is not currently in this journal and probably won't be because this is Calliope and she's my bard that I play on the PlayStation 5 when I goof around on that game. That is where I started playing Baldur's Gate on before I got, before I legit got a gaming PC and all that. Like I've had gaming PCs. I've been a gamer for a long time. I, you know, did World of Warcraft for a couple decades, Final Fantasy, all those kinds of things, like all the Mario, Zeldas, like Pokemons, you name it, I've probably played it. But lately my obsession, as you probably know, is Baldur's Gate 3. So anyway, I created a journal. I've used stamped and washi. Most of the stickers in here come from the Creeping Moon on Etsy. I'll leave a link to that shop below so you can check it out if you want. And I've just got stamping in here. Again, it's set up kind of bullet journal style because while it is just Baldur's Gate 3 right now, I do hope to expand it later on. So I've got a little index page here. This is a stology, so it is not numbered. So I'm kind of just flipping through, like I know where things are and things are bulky where I've got stuff. So it's easy to tell, but it's important to note like if you're going to use a journal like this the stology is not numbered i do have some washi from the critical role shop so this one says how do you want to do this again just kind of perfect for this gaming vibe right now i've just got bg3 stuff in here and i've got sections out for characters campaigns and stories i do not have anything on companions in here because at this point i've been playing the game for over a year and i know the companions pretty well so i don't need to track companion stuff like i could probably tell you every approval point for a starian if you really wanted to know there's also a wiki online by now i've got most of them memorized so I don't have any companion stuff in here, but if you're new to a particular game, particularly Baldur's Gate 3, companions would be a great section to have in your gaming bullet journal. So I have a kind of an extended page here for more indexing or notes or whatever else. You'll notice that a lot of the times when I create these cover pages, I don't put anything on the backside. That also allows me more space. So like if I wanted to, I could run my index down this page, down this page. And technically I would have four pages for indexing if I needed. So I've got some tip ins in here as well. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with some of the journaling terms, a tip in is basically when you just take something and you literally tape it into your journal and it just kind of creates a faux page. So I've got tape that running down this side of this piece of vellum and running down this side of the vellum, which basically inserts the page in. I've printed the Baldur's Gate 3 logo on vellum just for fun. It lays over the top of this sticker page. And this again is mostly stamp and washi and all these stickers are from the Creeping Moon. And this begins my co-op section. I do have little tabs up here. They're just little Avery tabs. I've cut them down so they're not quite so big. I've just got them divided off into co-op and story games. So basically games I'm playing with friends versus games I'm playing by myself. So this is my co-op cover page. I don't know if I will put anything in there or not. I've left it blank for now because I don't really need to put anything in there. Here is my character list. And these are just the characters that I'm currently playing co-op. I am missing one. Just realized that she's in here. I just don't have her on this page. So I need to add that. So now I have my campaign page and we always name our campaigns. Um, campaigns are named like in the game according to your character name, but sometimes there can be some, like if you restart a game or something like that, it can cause some issues. And it's just fun to have like names for games. I'm also missing from that same, my little pixie warlock. I'm also missing that campaign title in here. So I'll have to add her back in. So then for our completed campaigns, I kind of just archived them in here. So I did some, you know, decorative. Here's a picture of our three characters. I wrote what the theme or the objective for the campaign was, the start date and the end date. So this one ran from January 30th to March 26th. 
So for this one, I just did the titles for each of the live streams. We did 18 live streams for this one. I have my character here, Calypso, Lisa's character, Celestia, and again, more tip in. So I have what Calypso was, High Elf College of Sword Bard, what Celestia was, High Elf Wild Shaped Druid, and I have just a picture of Calypso kissing Astarian because Astarian was her boyfriend in this game. And that is sort of just an archive of that game so that I know that we played it and I know the characters that we played. Again, I've left blank page just in case I want to fill in. This is another tip in and this is from the title screen from the Nocturna Notoria game. And this just shows where our names came from. So we actually chose specific demon and angel names. Phoenix was the summoned demon and Anil is the ruling angel for that summoned demon. So we actually went through all of our angel and demon books and found the pairing that we liked, that we felt like matched the energy of that game. And Lisa played as Phoenix the dark urge slash demon and I played as Neil the angel who did a terrible job being a good angel and then we just had the quote from the angel and demon book which was cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved but we were not we failed <laughs> I have our stream logo here just a little bit about what we are trying to accomplish or what our characters were in that game Phoenix was a draconic bloodline drow sorcerer that Lisa played and because she played Dark Urge, she couldn't remember her past. Anil was a drought Oathbreaker Paladin who came down from the heavens, was supposed to help Phoenix and completely failed at her job because she was just so overwhelmed by all the new sensations of being in a body for the first time. And then I have the start and end date for that stream. And for this one, I didn't so much do a like a whole list of what we did. I did a little bit about our headcanon because we had quite a bit of headcanon around these characters, who they were, where they came from. I had their romances. Phoenix romance Astarian. They went off to do evil things together. Anil romance Shadowheart for a while and got bored with her and ended up killing her. That's just kind of Anil's style. And then we have Endgame and, and kind of like what happened and what we headcanoned around how the, the world ended up for our two characters. Okay, next we have our Monsters and Mayhem. This is our currently running Chaos game. We use real dice, real cards. It, it really is a real mess most of the time. It's so much fun. We try not to re-roll. We do have a couple of sort of house rules. Some characters like Astarian gets immunity, pets get immunity, things like that. But for the most part, we go with whatever happens in game, whatever happens with the rolls, and we play combat based on the cards we pull. So I'm playing a Jinx, which is my completely ridiculously multi-classed half elf and Lisa is playing Oblivia, a wild magic sorcerer barbarian whose magic gets us into trouble more times than not. Uh, this is currently running but I did note we started it on April 14th and this one I just have some pictures obviously and the title that we named the streams apparently I skipped number four. I need to add that back in because this game is getting close to wrapping up and we're going to rerun it kind of switching roles and, and changing things around because again we're using dice and cards so every time we play this game it's going to be different even using these same two characters. So I've just kind of done that just because I know we're getting to the end of this one. So our current running Tuesday evening game is our Mean Girls game, which is inspired by the movie Mean Girls because, right, Astarian and Shadowheart, they are the Mean Girls of Faerun. I am playing as Astarian and Lisa's playing as Shadowheart. I am romancing Gale and Lisa is romancing Carlac. That is our intention. And for this one, I actually have a list of what we did in each stream. So we are, at the time I'm recording this, we're four streams in. We're going to be playing again tonight. We start every game with a quote from the Mean Girls movie just for the fun of it. So I have that in here and then I have like literally a bullet list of what we did. Then I have my goth girls evil run that I'm playing with my friend Ali. We are not streaming this. We're just playing it offline together. Although occasionally I do include clips and videos from that. There was one because we die a lot. Like something about this game, we just die a lot. Uh, we are not modded, so we're playing straight vanilla. And this is my character, Dahlia, and this is Allie's character, Violet. I'm playing a little pixie warlock goth, and Violet is a barbarian. And she's ginormous, and the two of them together are amazing. So we've only played twice so far, so I've just kind of got a little note of what we've done. Uh, we did a lot our first time out. We played for like five hours. It was fantastic. And then what we did our second time out, which we spent most of our time dying clothes, which is why it doesn't look like we did a lot, but like... We had to go to the hideout and because we're not modded. We had to go get dyes. It was a whole thing. So then also in here I have, because we die so much, I made this little tip in where this is us all dead and game over. So on the backside of this, I am tracking our deaths. Now this is not actual literal deaths, although we have had some literal deaths where we've had to res characters. This is basically every time we're downed, right? Where we're downed and we have to wait for somebody to revive us and we're doing death saves. So Dahlia has been downed a total of 11 times, Violet nine, 
Astarian 11 and Shadow Heart 6. So these are who we're main we're playing with mainly and then total party kills we've had two so far. So I'm tracking this just for fun because it's a fun thing to do. So I've got a ton more pages just for other campaigns and things like that so I can fill in and then we go into the story section and this is where I am tracking my current role plays. So again I have just the logo vellum tip in here, my stories cover page again done with stickers and I have a little tab at the top. And then the one that's currently running is Persephone and Astarian, and I am getting ready to wrap this one up here in the next few weeks, probably, because I am just focusing on the story on this of these two. Uh, this is a Dark Urge Redemption story and a Astarian spawn story. So the idea is they will save each other. I am doing some creative editing with it. It is a role play game, so I am role playing as Persephone. And again, you'll see in here that I just have kind of the title, what I called the chapter and then what I did in each one so I can kind of keep track of what I'm doing. This is something that I posted on Tumblr. It was just some headcanon. I think I might have posted it on Instagram too. It was headcanon around Astarian and Persephone because Persephone is an original character that I've created. So I have some headcanon around her and them, a picture of her on the back, and again just more pictures of them. I've played through to the end of Act 2, so I'm going into Act 3. And again, because I'm just focusing on story, I'm going to be wrapping that one up fairly quickly. I have extra extra sticker in here. This is how I'm tracking these games. I'll be finishing this one up and I've got another role play that I'm going to be doing after this one that's going to have a cozy vibe. So that'll be interesting. This is what I've got going on in my gaming journal for fun and to help me keep track of everything that I'm doing in games. If you keep a gaming journal, you have any tips for me, definitely let me know in the comments below. I absolutely love journaling. It's a huge part of things that I do. If you watch my other channel, I mean, I guess I could leave a link for it. Like I do all kinds of crazy stuff over there. I do have a video on my dice and deck collection, things that I do with that, dice casting system that Lisa and I created together. Like there's a whole load of things over there too. I guess I'll leave a link in case you are unfamiliar with that space as well. So anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this little flip through of my gaming journal.